Good morning and welcome to this Thought for the Day for Friday. And we're reading today from Ezekiel chapter 36 and beginning at verse 22. Therefore say to the house of Israel, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. It's not for your sake, O house of Israel, that I'm going to do these things, but for the sake of my holy name, which you have profaned among the nations where you've gone. I will show the holiness of my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, the name you have profaned among them. Then the nations will know that I am the Lord, declares the Sovereign Lord, when I show myself holy through you before their eyes. For I will take you out of the nations. I will gather you from all the countries and bring you back into your own land. I will sprinkle clean water on you and you will be clean. I will cleanse you from all your impurities and from your idols. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit in you and move you to follow my decrees and be careful to keep my laws. You will live in the land I gave your forefathers and you will be my people, and I will be your God. It's a great passage of promise. Ezekiel was speaking to the people when they were in exile in Babylon and giving them a new hope. And this great passage has enormous promises of the future for them, promises for for them as a people, and promises for them in terms of their own hearts and lives. It comes before chapter 37, in which we read the famous passage of the vision of dry bones, where Ezekiel saw all these dry bones scattered on the ground, and God gave them life to make them a great army in his power, by his spirit. We're in this passage between a uh, period between ascension and Pentecost. And for most of the readings this week, we've been following an alternative set of readings in the lectionary for this period of Ascension to Pentecost, in which we read about the Spirit, about God's promises about the Spirit, about the action of the Spirit. And it prepares us for the day of Pentecost on Sunday. We've been used during this period to having our prayer week and having prayer stations set up in the church hall in Bentley and in the other two churches where we can go and spend time in prayer, prayer for ourselves and prayer for the nations, prayer for the gospel to go out. The subtitle for the week is Thy Kingdom Come and we're praying about the kingdom coming in us and the kingdom coming in the world in which we live. Sadly, this year, we're unable to go to Bentley Church Hall. But the good news is that we have these amazing prayer stations which have been set up online through the website, where we can go and engage in all sorts of creative prayer activities, which enable us to prepare for Pentecost. Enable us to prayer, pray, thy kingdom come. In Acts chapter 1, we read that the apostles were told by Jesus at the ascension to wait, not to do anything until power from on high came upon them. And they were obedient to that command. They spent their time meeting together and praying together until on the day of Pentecost what Jesus had promised had happened and the Holy Spirit came and they were changed forever and the church was born and from that day onwards the gospel spread out in wider and wider circles through the world as the message of Jesus was heard and received in the power of the Holy Spirit. It's a great story, a great message, a great piece of Christian history. And we place ourselves within that during this prayer week before Pentecost. 
like the apostles meeting in the upper room, we are waiting and praying for God to act because it's only as he acts that uh, the gospel can be effective, that people's hearts can be changed. I trust that you are praying this week with expectation. And if you haven't done so already, I trust that you'll visit the prayer wall, go and see all these activities and engage in them, that on the day of Pentecost, we may be a people prepared and expectant that God will act in us, in our church, and through us into the world. God bless you. Have a great day.